For those of you concerned that Samsung was maybe gonna lose its way with its camera-centric flagship, think again. Because yes, it looks like Samsung is ready to give us a major camera change for their next Galaxy S whatever Ultra, and I mean major. Speaking of major changes, the 10th generation iPad could be getting a complete redesign, and we have a ton of interesting details for Samsung's next Galaxy Watch series that are actually pretty enticing. I'm Jaime Rivera, and listen, where I'm from, we call Thursdays Small Fridays, so listen, there is no shame in starting to party today. This is Pocket Owl Daily. The official news today begin with uh, Motorola and uh, the new dates for the official launch of the new Razer and the X30 Pro. I mean, initially, I mean, the company had scheduled an event for August 2nd, but for unknown reasons, it got canceled just hours before the event started. Well, earlier today, Lenovo's mobile GM in China, Chen Ji, posted a new teaser for the Moto Razr 2022, which has August 11th date on the cover screen and a time set for 2 p.m. At this event, the company is also expected to launch the X30 Pro, and it's even rumored that both devices will go on sale right after the event concludes, which makes complete sense due to the delays. Just to refresh your memory, the Razr is reportedly powered by the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 with a 6. 7-inch 120Hz inner display and a 3-inch outer display and also it will have a dual camera setup of 50 megapixels in the main sensor paired with a 13 megapixel ultra wide camera. Coincidence that it's happening right next to the Galaxy Unpack, but anyways, anybody excited for the new Razer? Moving on, let's get to Samsung and new leaks about the Galaxy Watch 5 series. According to a new report from WinFuture, the battery life will get a boost in all models across the new lineup. For the base model, one single charge will reportedly now give you 50 hours instead of the 40 that we got on the previous variant. But that said, things start getting interesting when we talk about the Pro model, which will apparently bring a 590 milliamp hour battery, which will give users 80 hours of endurance with a single charge. Previous leaks also confirmed that the Pro will bring 10 watt charging speeds, double that of what we get on the current models. Another interesting thing to mention from this report is that it claims that all models will come with a stronger sapphire glass instead of making it exclusive to the Pro model. And you may be wondering what's the catch? Well, apparently it's going to be the price tag. On another OnLeaks report, all models are getting more expensive with the 40 millimeter version starting at 299 euros, while the bigger model will start at 329 euros. Finally, the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro will be starting at 469 euros. And before you think that's crazy, just ask how much the Garmin that I'm currently wearing cost. I mean, the prices are actually not that bad considering the functionality that it's reported to be coming to these watches. Now let's talk about Apple and new rumors about the upcoming entry-level iPad. We can expect Cupertino to make an update to the entry-level iPad later this year, and recent leaked renders give us a clear look at what we could get. According to these new images, the new tablet could have a pretty similar design to the iPad mini with flat edges and the camera bump. Uh, we can also see that it could uh, have more rounded corners, but keeping the same squared off corners on the display. This report also supports previous rumors about the new iPad featuring a larger display, USB-C charging ports, an A14 Bionic chip, and even 5G. Also, the renders suggest that the device will stick to Touch ID on the home button and a thicker top and bottom bezel surrounding the display. Sadly, at the back, we still get the single camera and apparently Cupertino wants to get rid of the headphone jack here too. And just to wrap it up, given the redesign, it is possible that we get a price increase here, so let's see how that goes. And finally, for the hottest news today, let's talk Samsung and new interesting rumors when it comes to the Galaxy S23 Ultra. For context, Sammy introduced two 200 megapixel camera sensors in the past 10 months, but we haven't seen any of those make a debut yet. Usually the company collaborates with companies like Xiaomi for the initial launch, but it seems things are changing. According to a new report from Ice Universe, the company is about to release yet another ISOCELL HP2, their third 200 megapixel sensor that could be featured on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. ICE also stated that the other camera modules probably won't see many changes. He also added that this possible flagship will stick to a 5,000 milliamp hour battery we currently have on the Ultra variant. However, let's not forget that for the next generation, we'll have a lineup powered exclusively by Snapdragon, meaning that we can expect the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 or whatever the name will be that will be announced later this year. And according to several reports, 
ports, it is expected to bring great battery efficiency improvements. Sadly, we still don't have too much information about the charging speeds, but there's a high chance that we get improvements similar to the ones we discussed yesterday for the possible Fold 4. Anyways, for today's question, let us know, would you prefer Samsung to use Sony sensors on its cameras instead of its own? Because yes, it is pretty much the gold standard, but uh, as opposed to the experience we have with Exynos chips when it comes to processors, I feel the company has done a great job in blurring the lines when it comes to its cameras, up to the point where it doesn't really matter to me, but that's just me. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. You can also follow us on social media as our extended coverage happens on Instagram and follow me on my personal handles to see me. Listen, it's Thursday, okay? I have no shame. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.